Greetings from Calgary. Lately I've been teaching a series of hands-on robotic motor control classes using my favorite teaching platform, Gadgeteer. The first class in the series is on controlling DC motors, and so we cover pulse width modulation, also known as PWM. One of the labs is very good at showing the differences between and the effects of frequency and duty cycle, as the motors I used are used are geared down 47 to 1, so pulsing shows up very clearly. So let me give you a brief overview of the project board for this lab, which is the second of three labs for this class. The first lab explores quadrature, and the third lab combines everything taught in the class, so we have manual control over the speed of a motor and can display the RPM. We cover PID controllers in the next class to close the control loop. So this is a gadgeteer power module, it's red, then we have a character display, and then we have two rotary controls. With this control here, we're going to control the duty cycle, and with this one here, we're going to control the frequency. Uh, we have a button down here to turn it off and on. This is our Serbius mainboard, gadgeteer Serbius mainboard. This is the motor controller module, and this is a pulse uh, counter, and we use that in the next lab of the class to calculate out what the RCM what the RPM is off of the encoder off the back of the motor. The motor is a Polo Lu uh, 47 to 1 geared motor. It's a 6 volt and so it works really well with that gearing to show the uh, the pulse the pulsing and uh, pulse with uh, the effects of the different uh, settings. So if we have our frequency set to zero and we turn this up like we can see that the motor is not going to turn because we don't have we're not uh, we have a zero frequency so we'll turn this back down to uh, to zero and we'll set the frequency to one and we'll do the same thing now if we have it just the one percent duty cycle you can see that the motor is barely turning it's it is moving but it's turning in very very small steps most of the time it's off so then if we increase that to 2, we see now that the pulses are becoming a little longer as they become a little wider. So if we come up here, we'll say, you know, bring it up to, uh, let's see if we can go to 20. So we can see that, you know, the pulses are getting a little wider. The, the movement is becoming longer. And so if we go up even more, we'll see that uh, here at 50 percent basically the motor is turning half the time and stopped half the time so that's 50 percent duty cycle and it's going further with each pulse so if we turn it up even more uh, we'll say up here to uh, 80 percent we can see that well one pulse is almost taking it right around there's still a little stoppage there and then if we crank it up even further, um, to 100%, we can see that the thing is pretty much just turning around all, you know, and it's a fairly smooth uh, turn. So let's take this back down, and let's go back down to about 20%. And uh, we'll go down a little further here. There we go. Oh, too far. So we're at 20% and we can see that we've got this pulsing action. So now what happens if we increase the frequency? So if we go to 2, well we see that the torque curve becomes a little bit smoother. We still have this pulsing and stopping, but the pulses are now half the length, twice the frequency. So now if we increase it even further, you know, now it's, uh, it becomes smoother and smoother. The movements are becoming smaller and smaller, but closer and closer together. So our tor torque curve is starting to smooth out. And as we go up to, you know, like 20 hertz or whatever, that uh, basically increasing it further, I mean, there's visually nothing. I can still feel the board maybe vibrating a little bit. And then as we go up even further, you know, you'll eventually you'll feel those vibrations completely disappear pretty much and you'll have a very smooth torque curve for your motor. So hopefully this uh, this helps folks visualize and hence understand what pulse width and frequency are and what effect they have. So until next time, 
happy gadgeteering.